kind of yeah, like, who, who we kind of call. Like, what, what, I don't know. I, don't know, know, but but <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw that uh, a realtor or, or like a broker here in Newport uh -huh. was hiring somebody to make call call to call call. set a point. Okay, so the top line expires or they're doing circle prospecting. So circle prospecting is when there's a listing in the area and it's sold. So you, or it's an escrow. So what you do when you say when you call is go, hey, you know, I'm so and so from for Christie's first team. I just want to let you know I, um, the house just sold. It's an escrow down the street from you, and we miss it by a day. And we sell a buyer in your area. Who do you know in your area that might be looking to sell? Because I know there was like 11 people looking at that house. They could only sell to one. <laughs> so um, do you know of anyone else that's looking to sell? And if they say, oh no, what's your situation? Yeah, and then you can also go for a one-party show. Just go, I don't, I don't know, I haven't been in your house yet, so I'm not really sure if your house is going to be right fit or not. However, I can take a look at it and I can let you know. Does 4.30 or 6 work better for you? Nice. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah, is that very, like, 4:30. calming? 4.30 works good. 4.30 works good. So, you know what I mean? But can you see, like, it's just, it's, it's very smooth and mm -hmm. fluid. What happens, and by the way, I did get a sales call today, and I'm going to tell you what happened. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to post it on Facebook yet, so I was gonna—I wasn't sure how to word it. Um, but I thought it was hilarious. So I picked up the phone. It's amazing what you do when you pick up the phone. So one, we always have to pick up our phone because that's how we make money. So I'm in the office, and I'll, if I'm there and nobody's in front of me, I'm gonna pick it up, right? So I'm just sitting there doing my thing, and the phone rings, and, and I'm thinking it's an agent that wants to join. So of course I'm picking it up because that's where my mindset is. Mm -hmm. So I pick it up. I'm like, this is Robin, and and the guy instantly is like, um, uh. Uh, hi, and I was like, hi, and I'm thinking again, it's an agent, <laughs> and yeah. and he says, um, yeah, I'm so and so. I I've got to be honest, I expected your voice now. I'm like, huh? Uh, I, uh, okay, well, you, hi, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and and he's like, well, I just wanted to, you know, we just first started working with you, and he's trying to, man, we get these calls all the time, right? And I was like, well, I just wanted to like see, you know, if I could send you some information, you could get your agents passed along, that kind of stuff. Totally not trying to stop him because he doesn't know what to do at this point because I'm on the phone. Yeah. And uh, and I'm being cordial and calm and not being rude or anything, but I, I am giving awkward silence. Because I'm like, you know, and he's probably waiting for me to be like, no, right? And I'm just going to do awkward silence because now I want to know how he's doing because I'm always critiquing, right? Yeah. I was like, See how you're gonna do with this sales meeting. Uh, because first, I don't know if I want to convert them into real estate. Right. And uh, no. So I was, I was like, okay. So he's like, hey, is it okay if I send this stuff over? And I'm like, sure. Can you send it to Attention Alley? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I can, or whatever. I mean, he couldn't get off the phone fast enough. Uh, and he's trying to offer me this product and sales and all that. But how excited would I want to be to work with this person yeah. that is scared? So that's the thing, and that's why people don't usually make the calls because they're they're like, what do I do? If someone answers. <laughs> yeah, talk to them. You yeah. know, everyone wants to leave a um, voicemail. I don't want to leave voicemails. Mm -hmm. I will never leave a detailed voicemail. Um, if I leave a detailed voicemail, it's because I don't want to talk to you, right? So I'm yeah. always like, hey, give me a call. I have a question for you, and I leave my number, and I'm done because I want the call back, mm. and that's how you get the most calls back. Because I did that, like a lot of people, recruiters, you probably get the calls too. They will go through a system and they'll leave you a really long message. They're calling from a real estate company and so on. So, blah, blah, blah. We wanna, I get them all the time too. And I, yeah. and I, which I think they're really stupid because I'm like, you're kind of recruiting me as a realtor. You don't even know who you're calling right now. Like, yeah. I'm a manager. <laughs> you know? yeah. so, um, so, what I would do, because I call rosters as well, and he and I do it. I just call, I was like, hey, it's Robin Monaco's kind. Hope you're doing well. Can you give me a call real quick? I have a quick question for you. They have no idea what I'm calling. They think I'm a realtor or something like that. But I will get like 30 return phone calls within a, a couple hours. I always have to make sure my voicemail is empty because it's just going to go crazy. Huh. And um, But I haven't said anything because I want the call. I want them live. I want them live on the mm -hmm. phone. Right. So, cool. Sound good? Yeah. So when you do get someone live on the phone, don't go, uh, yeah. so you want to be excited. Just go, I hit a circle, you're answered. Yeah. Right? Do that. Uh, cool. I well, it's 